So you guys already know, one of my favorite hobbies is everyday carry. <laughs> The other one is well, kind of a different look today. I'm out here in my boat. We got some beautiful weather that rolled in. And so I said, well, let me show you the folks, the bag that I use on my boat, I take for my fishing trips, and it's a tote bag. And you know what? This is probably the first tote bag that's been on the channel. Pretty special. This is the MIS, Made in California multi-pocket tote right here. And my last boat bag was an MIS bag. It was the roll-up version, super solid. I'll leave the link for the review of that up in the corner of the screen. But this bag right here fills all my needs for a bag that you want to take hunting with you, you want to take it fishing with you, you want to take it camping. This bag is awesome, solidly, solidly built. Guys, if you never watched my reviews, I try to give you some of the specs on this, the products that I review or the packs that I review. Then I walk you all around the pack and then we'll wrap the whole thing up with my final thoughts. So. The dimensions or the specs on this bag. This is a 24 liter tote bag, so you can carry a lot of stuff in it. And the, the advantages of having a tote bag is that when you put larger items, things that probably wouldn't fit into a backpack, you can just kind of jam them in and it just works out for you because it just kind of sits on the top of the of the bag and it's really quick, quick access. You know what? I, I kind of have shied away from the whole tote life because you know i thought it was kind of not so masculine let's let's be safe about it and say it's not so masculine but the functionality is great for a tote bag when you're using it for outdoor use. Now, the dimensions, it's actually 24 inches in width, it's 14 inches high, and it can expand out to a depth of eight inches. Great, it's made out of a thousand D Cordura nylon, super damn tough. And on the bottom, it has an 18 ounce tarpaulin material, which works out great on the boat because, you know, I do get water inside the boat from time to time, splash, whatever, you bring in a fish, you got nasty stuff on the on, on the deck or whatever. So that tarpaulin material is great. So you can set the bag down, you won't get water inside your stuff. Plus you could just wipe it off at the end of the day. So what makes this tote so damn great? Well, it's a couple of things. I'd like to take you to the coolest sections of the bag. This, These are the coolest things about this bag. It's these multiple pockets that run the outside of the bag. So you have six pockets and each pocket has a different function for me as, as I'm using it. So this pocket right here, you got some nylon material right here with the bungee cord. So I put my, this is the Yeti Rambler right here. I put my Yeti on the outside with my water, tighten it up with that bungee, works out great. Then you get some branding right here with a smaller pocket in the middle, you still have the bungee right here and the grab handles, the grab handles on this. We'll, we'll get there. Let's talk about the rest of these pockets. So over here, I have my um, sunglasses that I use when I go fishing right here. And so you, like I said, you got three pockets on the outside. These are the Cast King sunglasses. These things are awesome. They're polarized. You know, I got the little keeper on them. I didn't have the money for the Coast sunglasses. Basically, that's the story that that boils down to. So these are like 20, 25 bucks versus Coast sunglasses that you may lose on the water, which are like 200 and something bucks. So the Cast Kings work out for me. If I break them, I'll... I don't want to break them, but if I break them, I'm not going to be so heartbroken that I spent $200 on some sunglasses and they don't, <laughs> and I can't get my money back from them. You know what I'm saying? So nice little hard cover case that they come in, but yeah, super great sunglasses, Cast King. You know, they're coming up in the last couple of years. So I put my sunglasses over there, tighten it up with that bungee so they stay in there. But those are the three pockets on the outside right here. And then we'll go to the other three pockets on the outside of the here. So you got a pocket over here. This is where I keep my, you know, I keep the knife in my pocket when I'm out on the water because if you go overboard, 
you need a knife to cut yourself free sometimes, especially if you get tangled up in rope. Not only is it functionality for fishing, but it's a safety thing as well. So this is the Spyderco Native uh, 5 with the LCN, so no rust will get on this knife. It's perfect for fishing, and you know, I just keep it in my pocket. So when I come off the water, I stick it in this pocket. When I um, get, um, get on the water, I just pull it out, put it in my pocket. This is the Nightcore E4K. This thing is damn near a spotlight for me on the water. It works great in a high in a high setting. So I pull this out. I'm behind the wheel. I'm like this. <laughs> I'm like this at night. I need to get a bar for the front of my uh, boat. You know, a light bar for my front of my bo boat. But until that happens, this has been working out great for me. So especially in the high mode or um, the the the. All the modes work great, like the low light mode when I'm hooking up the boat, um, the high mode when I'm actually navigating on the water, I'm going pretty slow, and I can check out what's out, out in front of me when I'm on the water. That's perfect. Then in this middle pocket, I really don't have anything, but I, I, I do put my keys in one of the pockets, and then on this side, I have my iPilot for my trolling motor, so I always know where that is when I come off the water. I don't like to leave stuff inside of my boat. Talking about the grab handles. You got two sets of grab handles, and ladies, when they talk about purses, will talk about drops. So this actually allows you to put different size. I like this, this two sets of grab handles because it allows you to put different size items inside so if you have like a bigger item you just want to lay it right here you can use the grab handles and it you know you just hold on to to those grab handles the second set is are actually shorter and allows you to get a lot more control over the bag when you grab them both of them are a great set of thick nylon grab handles now this this longer set I wish they would have done them in like a black that's the only thing because this boat <laughs> being fishing does get a little dirty and so the lighter color material has already started to pick up some dirt and turn a little different color but it's not the end of the world I'm just saying if I had to choose a fabric I probably would have gone with a darker material now there is a button closure on the inside of here um, so you can close it up and button it so when I'm riding in the boat nothing's flying out inside of the pack itself you know, I have my jacket. This is a Columbia jacket. I've had this for so long and it's got a little some holes in it, but I still like it for fishing. It's great. Um, inside of here, man, I got my lantern. So I'm fishing at night. This is a cheapo Ozark Trail Walmart lantern, but it works pretty damn good. I'm not mad at it at all for the price that I paid. I've been looking at a, a new Olight. I have some extra batteries in here. I got some fishing line, fishing line in here, two, two things, the fishing line is all unraveling. I got my uh, Procure Inshore right here. Um, so for, for the, those that don't fish, Procure is something that you put on your lure to attract the fish. But just keep on going. Uh, I got some, you know, some, some bucktails. And I also keep my Garmin in here, the head unit, because I don't like to travel with this on the boat because it's super expensive. If it pops off and cracks the screen, this is the, the Garmin Striker Plus 9 SV. And if this thing comes off the boat, you'll be crying. So I take it off when I'm traveling, when I trailer the boat. So I put it in here and I got some more little just, you know, odds and end things, but I do want to talk about this right here. This is the Tribit right here, Stormbox Pro. And this thing sounds awesome. I'm gonna roll in some, some B-roll of me playing this thing. But man, so this can act as a battery bank for you. It's got the big buttons on the, on the top where plus and minus, the Bluetooth connection, you know, it's easy enough to turn on. Gives you that tone. And, that means it's connected. You get the little Bluetooth symbol on the top. 360s sound great grab handle up here on the top, but this boat does not have uh, a speaker system. So this is my speaker system. And Lord, when I'm not fishing, I'm just cruising on the, on the water, people can hear me coming. <laughs> You know, 
hold this um, onto any like a little hook on the side or put it on a rod holder and this thing was just works so damn awesome. I love this little storm box pro. Thank you Tribit for sending this out. I've been testing it. So before I got on here and told you about it, I was like, man, I got to test this thing out. It's got some IP, I think it's IPA waterproof. So it does have some water resistance to it. Perfect for a boat, you know, perfect for the summertime. Cause I come outside and I set this on my tailgate and yeah, I just go to work, do whatever I need to do. Super portable and it lasts forever. The battery in this thing is awesome, but enough about that. And inside the rest of this, you got a key leash inside of here. So truck keys, you know, I park my truck and trailer, put my truck keys in my bag, and I always know where they are. So when I come off the water, you know, that's what it is. Inside of the bag itself, there is like some lining material to, you know, keep the water out, some weather resistance. It's coated inside. I think it's, I don't know, it's like a TPU kind of coating inside of the bag, but really it's just a whole bunch of space. Everything about this bag is rugged and heavy duty. The, the, the stitches on the on the handles themselves are box stitch right here. I mean, it's just really one well done. Bar stitching, the seams in the interior are taped and sewn. I mean, I have no problem recommending this bag right here because it's simple six pockets gives you a lot of functionality yes it's a tote bag and you got to be okay with that you got to be comfortable carrying your tote bag out there but i mean as far as a gear hauler yeah it's hard to beat you know hard to beat this bag for the access that it gives you so the msrp on this thing is 145 do i think it's worth you have a use case for it you know like if if you have a use case, you're gonna be, you know, fishing, hunting, um, camping, something like that. You want something solid to throw your stuff in. Yeah, 145 is great. And you know, this is a great one. I think 511 makes a, a great one as well. And I think that might be a little bit cheaper, but it, the 511 one doesn't have the pockets on the outside. I actually started with that one. And I think the, the pocket functionality of the MIS is a lot better, even though it's smaller than the 511. I think it's a ready haul pack uh, or something like that. But great, great. Uh, tote pack and that's you know, that's it. That's a wrap guys. Thanks for watching George to find if you like this video hit the thumbs up button <laughs> It gets the video out to more people. This is not everyday carry, but this is what I love You know, what I mean like we've switched to you know my my hobbies. This is this is my element right here fishing I love this probably more than I love everyday carry to be totally honest you got a question leave it down there in the comments i'm down there i'm answering the questions anything that you need to ask me about edc gear bolts totes i guess that's where we're at <laughs> leave it down there in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one man peace